I think there are ghosts for sure. So it's just a matter of how much we want to interact, I guess. One tool that people use to communicate with ghosts is a pendulum. The movements of a pendulum are supposed to give you the answers to yes or no questions. My friend Lauren is very good at using a pendulum, so I asked her to come, show us how to use it, and see if we can talk to any ghosts that are in this room, and check to see if my haunted eBay doll is haunted. You can also use a pendulum to find a lost item. So I'm gonna hide something that belongs to Lauren and see if she can find it using only the pendulum. Well, a pendulum is a symmetrical weighted object on a string or a chain. It can be anything. It can be keys or a bead. Most often it's crystals. Some people think that it's uh, tapping into a higher power or like a spiritual guide. For me, I think of it more as like a way to to figure out what my subconscious knows that I might not realize yet. So the way the pendulum works is you hold it in your hand and let it hang and you ask it questions, yes or no, and it'll make different motions for yes and different motions for no. For me, for yes, it makes circles and for no, it makes straight lines and it's different for everyone. For other people, it might go left to right for yes or shake for no. I was on vacation with my husband and we went in this little crystal shop and I picked one up. It worked like immediately for me and really freaked me out. And for my husband it didn't move at all so I figured it was something special. The first time you use it, you can pick it up and say, show me yes. Starting to make a circle. Goes. And then show me no. It does a straight line for me, but it might do a different movement for you. Usually, to like set it to start, I'll ask it something like, Do I have brown hair? to make sure it's working. And it takes a little bit to start, but you can see it's starting to make a small circle and it gets bigger, and it's like, oh yes, yes, you have brown hair. Or I'll ask it a question that's definitely a no, like, am I seven feet tall? See, it's doing a straight line back and forth. So that's a big no. I try to clear my mind as much as possible, and um, just focus on the question. And I say thanks, then I reset it like this. Wait, did you say that you thank it after it tells you something? I do. Wait, <laughs> no one says to do that, but I, I do. Do you want to try asking it a question that only I know the answer to? Yeah. Does Joanna have a tattoo? No. That's correct. I don't have a tattoo. <laughs> Let's get to some ghost stuff. Okay. I've never used the pendulum for ghost questions, so this should be interesting and terrifying. Other than Joanna and I, is there a spirit in the room? I'm saying yes. Is the spirit friendly? Okay, that's good. doesn't know. Oh. <laughs> if, it, if it like shakes or goes back and forth, that means it just doesn't know. Does the spirit need our help? Oh shit, that's a oh, strong no. yes. Okay. Oh crap, <laughs> <The> spirit <laughs> How do we help it? Um. Uh, I actually have no idea how to help spirits. We Google it. Maybe we should just Google it. Let's just see. <laughs> Do you want us to help you cross over? No. No, okay. Is the help that you need something we can provide? Oh. No. No. Oh. 
That's too bad. So this is Mary, my haunted doll. Hi, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Did she give you a weird feeling? Yes. Is this doll Mary haunted? Won't say. Is the ghost of a child attached to Mary the doll? Won't say. Won't say. Is there a positive energy associated with Mary the doll? Yes. Does Mary like living in our office? Yes. Oh, that's really... Yeah. One of the ways to use pendulums is to find lost objects. So it's sort of like playing hot and cold with a pendulum? Exactly. Yeah. Can I hide something that belongs to you? What is something uh, important to you that if you lost it, you'd really want to find it? Um, I guess my wedding ring. Oh, can I hide your wedding ring? If you promise not to lose it. All right. Thank you. I promise I'll keep it safe. <laughs> Bye, wedding Bye, ring. Wedding ring. So Lauren actually gave me her wedding ring. I'm gonna hide it in the office and see if she can use the pendulum to find it. I've hidden your ring. All right. Do you have a strategy? How do you feel? I'm feeling a little nervous. Sway to where my wedding ring is. Could be either direction. So we're swinging this way. It was like this. Okay. That way's kind of out the window, so let's go this way. Okay. Is my wedding ring inside of something? No. Is my wedding ring with somebody? No. Joanna, you lost my wedding ring. <laughs> Point to where my wedding ring is, please. my wedding ring. Mm. It's hard because it goes both ways. Yeah. Well, it's definitely so it's this way, this this way, way. or this. my wedding ring to the left of me. No. So it has to be the right. This way. Is my wedding ring on somebody's desk? Yes. Is someone sitting at the desk where my wedding ring is? No. Can you point to where my wedding ring is right now? This way. It's pretty good. It helped. Went to the right side of the office. I'm impressed. I'm glad to get this back. <laughs> I feel like it definitely helped me find it. Oh, <laughs> why is everything so cool? Um, that's a ghost. That's a ghost that's for a sure. Ghost. What should we ask it? Yeah. Was that a ghost? That's a hard yes. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> that's a wrap. When I got home, I opened my bag and it was broken into two pieces. Even though I put it in a really safe spot, I read online that if there's a lot of energy going through it, a crystal can break. So maybe that's what happened. I've never seen this happen before though. So do you feel like we overused it? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I think especially talking to ghosts was just too much <laughs> for it.